The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode will tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Ryerson University. COVID-19 has socially distanced us. No more gathering with friends or loved ones, no late nights and dinner dates, no trips, no picnics, no backyard barbecues. So what do we do amidst the continuing pandemic? We are missing weddings, funerals, anniversaries, retirements, graduations and more. Instead of a hug, a handshake, a face-to-face, we are Zooming, having virtual parties, doing drive-by celebrations and shouting special greetings from car windows. Diane Brecker says, we rarely choose to celebrate special occasions alone. It's human nature to share those moments with others. Dr. Brecker is a clinical psychologist and scholar in residence for positive psychology at Ryerson University. For the past three years, she has been training students, faculty and staff in resilience. We feel happier when we get to celebrate special occasions with friends and family. Sharing strengthens our emotions. It's also why we share our troubles with people close to us. A sympathetic ear, words of advice and encouragement. These are important. And that is why loneliness can be so difficult in isolation. So how do we cope amidst COVID-19? Get some perspective and become emotionally agile. Life isn't over if you don't have a birthday party or if your wedding is postponed or happens at City Hall instead. It's hard, but certainly not tragic. You might also realize just how many things you take for granted. Also, don't be rigid. Things don't always happen the way they're supposed to. Celebrate in whichever way you can. The longer it takes you to adapt to your expectations, the harder it'll be. But what else can you do? Dr. Brecker talks about the three stages of happiness, anticipation, participation, and recapitulation. Do not let go of these. Anticipation is when you hope, you dream, you plan. But what happens when that surprise anniversary party is replaced by a Zoom call? There could still be joy in planning a special surprise guest. Participation is bringing that plan to life and enjoying the moment. Recapitulation is when we take our time to reminisce and savor that experience. So for example, if you're graduating, plan for a party when it's safe. But in the meantime, take time to reflect on your experience and share your stories with friends and loved ones. No matter the situation, Brecker encourages you to say, I can't do it this way, but I can do it that way. This story was adapted from Lindsay Craig's Ryerson News article, How to Celebrate Special Occasions in a Pandemic. 